guys welcome back so the reason why I haven't been uploading any proper videos is because I've had a cold but I'm starting to recover now so I thought I would do a quick video to show you what I've been working on because I've had some time off um, why I'm trying to get this from now I want to give a thank you to Brandon Carr for doing my background and avatar cheers dude for taking the time out for actually doing me one so yeah so the thing I wanted to try and achieve in this build was to give it archways at the bottom and I think I have achieved that here as you can see and underneath the stairs you can actually go underneath them and in this bit here I might actually make it the center and I try to give it as much detail as possible with support structures and stuff like that by these buttresses here and the buttons as bolts <coughs> Yeah, as you can tell, guys, I've still got the cold a bit. But, you know, what can you do? They go all the way up to the roof. The side of the house. With overhangs there. Just to break up that bit there. The back with the balcony. the other side that's actually quite a nice view that with the sun coming over the top there so let me take you inside now the inside ain't very big but what you gotta remember is in medieval times the inside wouldn't be because they would try and keep as much heat in as possible so yeah, this is going to be the main dining area where they will come and meet their guests and stuff like that and eat their food. The balcony area where they can come out and have a smoke and stuff like that. So the mid middle floor will be the preparation area, like the kitchen and stuff like that where the servants would prepare meals and stuff like that and the top floor is the attic where the living quarters is going to be with a nice uh, support beam going up there to separate the room Just going to show you the views out from the window, which ain't much because it's quite high up, as you can see there. I really got to stop saying that, I say it too much, as you can see there. <laughs> you know that every YouTuber's got that their thing what they say too much. Mine is that, as you can see there. Anyway, moving on. The thing I forgot to show you is, is this little um, window seat where you can see outside. Obviously, because then it wouldn't be called a window seat. <laughs> oh god, I hate being ill. Um, the other thing I put in was this sand bank here coming out from the water mill. Going to the granary to make it look like it's boiling into the ocean. <coughs> the other thing is I'm going to show you is the blacksmith but only the outside because I've shown you the inside in my last video I think this is the best blacksmith I've built so far 
so yeah guys the video is coming to an end now if you like this build please support it with a thumbs up and a comment and if you haven't already subscribe so yeah guys i hope you are all well and i will see you next time all right then guys take care